Just on the right edge. Impact. Neutralized. 450. Impact. Neutralized. 500. Okay. Impact. Neutralized. I don't even see that thing move. From yeah, it's just barely. One to two MOA targets, one hit required on these. Roger. 600. I see it. Yep. Was that a hit or not? Seven hundred. Roger. That was a hit. Impact. The first one might have been. It's just so hard to call these. Eight hundred. Final target. That sounded like an impact. Again, I cannot see anything at this distance. Even, I was even having trouble at six. Right, But okay. that sounded like an impact. Okay, so again, this thing is transonic at 750. So, not really much, there's really not really much mass, or, there's not really much energy that, that's smacking that plate at right, that point. Right, you know, low mass projectile moving less than the speed of sound. Yeah, let's try it again. See, see if we can see anything at all. Yep. Impact. You saw it? I definitely heard that. That was that was absolutely an impact. But... That is impressive yeah. for a 5.56 five, rifle. I mean, you took you took that from you know the 150 to 350 range. I mean, you're shooting those with extreme. Yeah. Um, and I hardly speed. had to dial. That's that was easy, honestly. I hardly had to dial. No, I think yeah. I think more impressive for this setup at those ranges is how rapidly you're able to take all nuts. Right. Even even. Not a competition style gun, not a muzzle break, you're running a suppressed rifle. Uh, but then, then again, that's what that rifle is designed for, right? Yeah. And once you got out past 350, you're slowing down a little bit from like the, the 400 to 500 yard range. And then the targets get a lot smaller out beyond that, and that's when it gets difficult. Especially, so especially with wind, when it when it passes through that, that sonic barrier, depending on how well it, it, it still stabilizes with that sonic barrier hitting it, uh, it may be affected by wind even more because if it's already wobbly, mm -hmm. wind is able to create more drag on the on the projectile itself and then that's when you see the projectile scroll away. Right. Um, so partially the, the cartridge itself is impressive. Mm -hmm. um, partially it's really cool that 
more than 10, 15 years ago, SOCOM came up with a design that was able to stretch back then the initial concept of the M16 uh, that far away. Yeah. Good run. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, really cool. Seven one six is Bill Knight six four Vic eight packs, Redcon one green to green, top copy over. Seven one six, this is seven one six, Roger over. One six, Bill Knight one, one pack, green green, over. Seven one six, Roger over. One six, Bill Knight two, one Victor, two packs, Redcon one, over.